Hi, oh yeah, we're going to have a look at factorising with single brackets. So here's my question, 2x plus 10. And um, what I mean by factorising is I want to get this back into a set of single brackets in this case. I know it's single brackets, there's no squares or anything like that up here. Alright, so we're just worrying about single brackets to start with. So highest common factor of 2 and 10 is my question. I think those two numbers because of the two numbers that are in my question. So the highest common factor of 2 and 10 is 2. What I'm now going to do is divide this thing here by 2. So 2x divided by 2 would give me a single x. 10 divided by 2 gives me 5. What this has done, this number here is the one that goes on the outside of the brackets. This is what is going to go on the inside of the brackets. Let's have a go at the second one. Okay, so my question is 3x plus 18. That's what I want to get into brackets. And the question I'm asking myself is the highest common factor of 3 and 18. I'm not worrying about the x because there's no x in this 18. So I don't have to worry about that. So the highest common factor of 3 and 18 is 3. Which means I'm going to divide everything in this by 3. 3x divided by 3 is just a single x. 18 divided by 3 is going to give me, you're right, 6, well done. So, I'm going to put all this together, single set of brackets, the highest common factor is 3, that goes on the outside, this section here goes on the inside. I'll do one more, see how you get on with it. Okay, so here's your question, 5x plus 100. So the question you're going to ask yourself to start with is the highest common factor of 5 and 100. You're correct, well done, it is indeed 5. It will not always be the number in front of the x, that will change, it just happens to be the ones I've picked. Your next step, divide everything in here by your highest common factor. So let's divide all of this by 5. So 5x divided by 5 is a single x. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So what's your answer going to look like? Single set of brackets. 5, the highest common factor on the outside. x plus 20 goes on the inside. Now, they won't always just be a number on the outside. So this is how it could look if we were to change the question so that we might end up with a letter. So this time you can see the question is slightly different. We've got a 10x squared plus a 20x. It's still a single bracket. Okay. And this time I'm asking ourselves the question of what is the highest common factor of 10x squared and 20x, which sounds horrible, but it is more than manageable. So first things first, look, deal with the numbers. So what's the highest common factor of 10 and 20? It is in fact 10. Then deal with the letters. So what is the highest common factor of x squared and x? Well, they've both got an x in common. This has only got a single x, so it's just a single x that goes down here. So that is now my highest common factor. So I'm going to have to divide all of this by 10x. Again, it sounds horrible, but it really isn't. Do the numbers, then do the letters. So 10 divided by 10 is just 1. x squared divided by x is just a single x. 20 divided by 10 is 2. x divided by x, they cancel each other out, they go away. So again, you've got the bit that goes on the outside, your factor of 10x. x plus 2 is what is going to go inside your bracket. So the method is the same, the only difference is you have to worry about letters and numbers. But like I said, treat the numbers, then deal with the letters, and you've broken the question down. Good luck, if there are any issues, send me an email and I will get back to you.